Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be going over the all new Toyota Sienna. Before we get in this video though, a huge shout out thank you to the Larry Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this Sienna. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, need any help, just ask for Mitch. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Natchez aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder paired to a hybrid system and an ECVT. Total system output is 245 horsepower with fuel coming being 35 around town and then 36 on the highway, which is strong for a minivan. Now, before we go to the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood here, there's not a lot going on with the Sienna, but it does have a pretty short uh, hood, so that's something to mention. And then coming down below, you guys can see there with the LED headlamps, and then notice we got the blue on the Toyota logo to signify this is a hybrid. And then the grille is pretty massive here on the front end of the Sienna, and yes, it does in fact have a front splitter. This is a minivan with a front splitter. When you put it all together, you know what? The new Sienna looks pretty dang sporty. Coming around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 235, 65, 17 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the coloration on the wheels, it's kind of like a metallic gray. I think it looks good. And then if we look at the full side profile here of this Sienna, it actually looks pretty cool. You guys can see there with the bodywork at the bottom, you have this distinctive line. This is what I'm calling the Toyota line because you have that same line on the Supra. Yes, you have it on the Supra, the new Highlander as well. So it's just something that Toyota does, but let me know what you guys think about the side. Here's our key fob for the Sienna. There's nothing happening there on the back but on the front here we've got our unlock function we've got our lock function and then we have these two buttons to open up the doors on the side and then notice the Toyota logo again blue because it's a hybrid and I guess I have to open this up all by myself ah when it comes to the cargo area of the Sienna, it's actually very spacious, and this is one of the big benefits of going for the minivan life. And we even have more storage space here on the side. Something that I love about the Sienna is how everything is very nicely labeled, so it shows you exactly how to stow the seats so you can stow them here in the back. And all of these straps are also labeled, so yeah, it just makes it super user-friendly. Gotta use my muscles today. Whoa. Now here's a taillight here with the Sienna. You guys can see what the turn signal looks like. Definitely a sporty looking taillight, especially for a minivan. Hot goes off to the side, similar to the Toyota Camry actually. And then again with the blue logo, Sienna logo there. And then we have our all-wheel drive badge, LE hybrid badge on top of that. And well, that is pretty much everything for the rear. You don't have to just press the button on the key fob. You can just grab the door handle like that and it will automatically open up. Now here are the seats in the Sienna. I do love the design there in the center. I think that is pretty nifty looking. And then you guys can see here for like this little thing will throw the seat like that. And then you can see that one is to move it forwards or backwards. Legroom here in the second row is actually really solid. We do have a storage pocket right in front. And then we've got some cup holders and we have some USBs here for the rear passengers. You guys probably saw um, this one is a three seater across in the second row, but still have armrests here. Headroom is also really solid. And then you do have vents here on the top and we have our own climate zone for the back. Legroom here in the third row is actually also pretty solid. And then when it comes to headroom, it's also good. More vent action here on the top. And then I do have my own cup holders and we got some USBs over there. However, this is apparently a three seater as well, but this middle seat's definitely questionable because like I'm like in the middle seat here. Maybe it's just cause my legs are too big. When you're all done, you can just grab this handle right here and it'll close it again, or you can use the key fob, whichever you prefer. Now here is the front door panel. You guys can see really nice padding there. And I think this trim here is pretty interesting in the Sienna. All of our window controls, your mirror adjustments, door lock and unlock. And there's just tons of storage space here on the panel. And then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. With the front seats, you can see again with that cloth design and it is power adjustable. We've got some features over here, including the stability control, that's for the gas cap release, and then to turn off the power doors if you don't want that for some reason. And then there's even more storage space. Here's our steering wheel with the Sienna. You guys can see pretty basic material use all around. We do have our cruise control with our lane keep assist, volume controls, voice command controls, and then some controls for the center stack as well. Turn signal light stock there, and then we have our windshield wiper stock. 
Now here's the gauge cluster. You can see mostly analog. It shows you all the important information that you need to see, like how fast you're going, and then if you're you know charging stuff with the hybrid system, or if you're in the eco mode, or if you're using all the power. And then you can scroll through different menus here in the center, just like other Toyota models. So nothing too fancy. What is fancy, however, is our drive modes. We've got a sport mode, which gets red and aggressive, and then we have an eco mode, which is all green, and then normal mode, which doesn't show anything, but. We've got this backup camera here, which trajectory lines, they don't turn with the steering wheel. Resolution's pretty good. As for the rest of the infotainment system, first off, notice it shows us exactly what's happening, so I'm just going to put it in drive to go forward. So notice it says battery is powering the wheel there, so pretty cool that it shows you exactly what's happening with the hybrid system. Um, these buttons here on the side, pretty responsive, and then the screen also pretty responsive as well. So pretty good system. We've got our climate controls down below. This does have a dual zone climate system here for the front. And then notice there's like vents flanking it on either side. We have a random USB port there. And then we have more of this like brown plastic trim, which is kind of interesting. It goes all across because I guess more storage space. Shifter for that eCVT and it does have a manual mode. Ultimately it's a CVT, so you know. Parking brake right there. We've got our auto hold EV mode if you want to do EV mode and then you get your drive mode select and then more storage space even under this little thing we got like a million cup holders I guess it's a minivan it makes sense and that was kind of dramatic with how slow it opened center console which is massive you could almost live in there and if the storage space I showed you wasn't enough there's even more underneath the whole like shifter situation and we do have a glove box on top of that pretty big as well so up top here, we have controls for the doors and lights and all that, and just a lighter colored headliner. So here's our window sticker. If you guys are wondering, LE all wheel drive and all of the standard equipment on this particular one, base MSRP, and I guess just roof rails is the only thing that's added. And then obviously shipping and all that. Anyways, total MSRP $38,870. And well, let's take this back to its parking space. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, we're gonna have an EV mode so that we don't use any gas on our way back. So you guys can see what the EV mode is like. And you know, once availability is a little bit better with the Siennas, or just with Toyotas in general, um, then I will be having more you know, normal driving reviews. But at least I have a chance to uh, review the product a little bit right now but anyways super smooth oh deactivated so if you press completely turn it off so if i press unavailable now i guess you press the gas too much it's like nope out of ev mode so there's that um, i will say that i've driven the new sienna several times in the past uh, the cvt feels like a cvt um this gets up and moves at a pretty decent pace especially like off the line because of the electric side of things um, but I wish that Toyota would, you know, beef up the power a little bit with this, um, close to like 300 horsepower. That being said though, I mean, it's a minivan. Do minivan owners really care about power, right? Because this is ultimately, you know, supposed to be just a reliable people mover. And the Sienna, I feel like does, uh, accomplish that. And I think the popularity with the new Sienna really shows because I mean, this thing is just selling like crazy uh there's like <laughs> there's no way to keep these on the lot right now and yeah there is a shortage of a lot of uh twitter's products but like and there you go ev mode again and let's see if it'll let me okay now let me do full that's weird um but seriously like i, I think this is just a really good uh, minivan overall because again you've got twitter's reliability and on top of having twitter's reliability it's just I don't like the interior makes sense. There's tons of storage space. Everything's easy to use. And even in this like base package, like this isn't the nicest interior, but I mean, for under $40,000 getting all wheel drive and the fuel economy this gets and everything, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this is a pretty good value. If I just wanted like a straight up people mover that was reliable and was fuel efficient, then this is exactly what I get. And the fact that it has all wheel drive just really sells it for me because then you can drive in all four seasons without stressing out. That's because something's up with our video on the Sienna. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with the Sienna. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Ask for Mitch if you have any questions. I'll see ya.